There have been several updates to the Microsoft acquisition of Activision, including some comments about the EU regulators who have met with Sony and Google. A lot is going on. Uh, let's dive in to this story right now. Thanks for watching my channel, the place where I talk a lot about these Xbox news stories and PlayStation stuff, and this one is right in the middle. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when it goes live. So the first piece to this story that I wanted to go over was this one right here from Seeking Alpha, who is reporting that Sony met with e EU regulator on Activision Microsoft earlier this month. So this was this is like fairly new news that is just coming out right now. And here's what it says. Uh, Sony is said to have met with the European antitrust regulators early, earlier this month to discuss Microsoft's planned $69 billion purchase of Activision. Now we know that Jim Ryan uh, lauded them for further investigating this deal and also said that uh, they hope that they will protect gamers. I don't know if this is the meeting that is being discussed, but uh, yeah, there's some updates here to that story. Sony Inter Interactive Entertainment had Jim Ryan met with the European Commission on September 8th at its headquarters in Brussels, according to deal reporter item, which cited sources familiar. Google is also said to have worries about the transaction and has voiced its concern to regulators. Now, I'm going to dive back into that one in just a second because we actually have a little bit of insight as to what they said to the Brazil regulators via a uh, translated document which I translated, that was provided by the Brazilian government. They allow people to access all of uh, the conversations that were had here. We'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, Sony, which makes the PlayStation video gaming console, has reportedly voiced its concerns that Microsoft could potentially limit access to Activision's Call of Duty franchise. Google has had interactions with Brazil's antitrust regulator Cade on the deal, according to regulatory, regulatory filings in Brazil. The report comes after Microsoft on Friday filed the Activision deal with the European Commission. The regular set, a, the the sorry, the regular set a provisional deadline of November 8th to make a decision on the transaction, according to a filing on the regulator's website. And it's pretty boring. You can see it here. Uh, basically, it just says um, the deadline's the eighth. <laughs> um, Microsoft announced its $69 billion deal to buy Activision Blizzard for $95 per share in cash in January. So there's a bit to dive into. Let's talk about that deadline because the regulators set that deadline. At least I think it was the regulators. I was, I was a little confused at first, but this article over here over at Routers is saying that the EU antitrust regulators set November 8th deadline for Microsoft Activision decision. Uh, EU antitrust regulators will decide by November 8th whether to clear Microsoft Corp's proposed $69 billion, billion acquisition of Call of Duty maker Activision Blizzard, according to a European Commission filing on Friday. The deal, the biggest in gaming's history, will help the U.S. software company better compete with leaders Tencent and Sony. The EU competition enforcer can clear the deal with or without remedies after its preliminary review or it can open a four month long investigation if it has serious concerns. So going back to that other article where yet again, Sony is talking about their worry that Call of Duty will be removed from their platforms, even though Microsoft has said ad nauseum, that is not the case. Uh, I've talked about it a few times on the channel. Many, many times people have brought up the conversation that took place before the deal was announced between Jim Ryan and I believe Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer had offered three years of exclusivity and Jim Ryan said no. So some of those provisions might be that Call of Duty be offered on the PlayStation platform, at least in the near future. And we'll see what ends up coming of that from the regulators. The EU competition. OK, yes, yeah, so we read that part. The commission is likely to do the latter. Wait, 
longer and do the four month uh, investigation because of recent regulatory concerns over deals by big tech sources familiar with the matter said the European Commission's review of this deal is progressing in line with the expected regulatory schedule and process and we remain confident that the acquisition will close in fiscal year 2023 a Microsoft spokesperson said Britain's antitrust watchdog earlier this month said it would open an in-depth investigation into the bid after Microsoft declined to offer concessions during its initial review. So basically Microsoft said, yeah, go ahead, look into it more. <laughs> I guess we don't care at this point. So Sony has gone to the regular regulatory board and brought up their concerns. Uh, Google has also gone now, but let's dive into what was said in those Brazil documents. I've, I, I can bring the document here. I'll bring the document up because some other stuff is going on with this case. That's also interesting. Uh, the one thing that you'll notice a lot in the document is it says stuff like this state, whether in your company view, there would be other markets potentially affected as a result of the aforementioned transaction. Google respect, respectfully requests an additional 10 days to respond to the item 42 on the official letter. And then it's redacted when it comes through. So I've taken the, the quote from the one part where they actually said something and it was this. So this is the regulatory brand saying, present your company's position with regard to positive or negative aspects of this merger, specifically considering its potential competitive effects in the market for developing and publishing games for PC, console, and mobile devices. Now this is Google's response. Google understands that there will continue to be a significant number of game developers and publishers in the market after Microsoft's act acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Now that is uh, translated to English via Google Translate. And um, yeah, so largely my read on that was that they don't care. But that was before the news yesterday about Stadia closing. And a lot of people have pointed to this old a uh, Kotaku article that I mentioned in a video a few days ago that said the following. Uh, this is from 2021, and this is uh, Phil Harrison saying, in his Thursday Q&A with staff, he pointed specifically to Microsoft buying Spree and a planned acquisition of Bethesda software later this year as one of the factors that, he, that had made Google decide to close the book on original game development. I really, why would that be the case? Why would Microsoft buying Blizzard or uh, Act? Why would Microsoft buying Bethesda have any impact on Google, a trillion dollar company, uh, Google's decision to make their own games? It doesn't, there's no correlation there for me as to why that would happen. The Bethesda games remained on the PlayStation platform. They're on the Xbox platform. Uh, so if they wanted some of the old games, those still would have been released on a uh, multi-platform at least during that time period. So it's really confusing that they would point to that acquisition and say, well, that's it. Time to pack up our bags. No more original game development. I don't understand how one affects the other. And, uh, you know, Phil Harrison does not have a great track record. Neither does Google though. Uh, there's this website you can go to, uh, killed by Google. And it's just all of the stuff they've killed. You see Google Stadia is on here now. YouTube Originals is on here. And if you just start going down, these are all the projects. We're down to still in 2020. This is all the stuff that Google has started up and then killed going all the Google talk in 2013, uh, Google fast flip, all of these things. There's a lot that they have, uh, you know, axed during the the creative process so regardless that's the big update about what is going on with the case and there was one other thing that happened that was kind of interesting which makes me feel like potentially that this deal could be closer to a close than originally thought and that comes way of bloomberg basically the activision compliance chief has stepped down ahead of the microsoft deal so so the, the compliance chief steps down, uh, Sony's Jim Ryan goes to the European whatever, and he's telling, please make sure Call of Duty's on PlayStation still, even though Microsoft and Xbox have said that ad nauseum. Uh, Google's also over there, and all of this stuff is happening on the same day, which is really interesting to me um, that it would all happen. It makes me think that things are going to continue changing at Activision Blizzard, because I think Microsoft 
believes that this deal is going to close sooner rather than later. Anyway, so the compliance chief steps, that's my theory. The compliance chief has stepped on ahead of the Microsoft deal. We all know about the rampant sexual harassment accusations and everything, but here's what uh, Bloomberg says about uh, this story. Uh, the officer who drew scrutiny over her response to sexual assault allegations last year is stepping down as the video game publisher seeks to close its sale to Microsoft Corp. Francis Townsend, who also serves as executive vice president of corporate affairs, leaves two years after taking her role. After Friday, she will become an advisor to the board and to the chief executive officer, Bobby Kodak. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fran did a truly exceptional job, actually four jobs with continuously increasing responsibilities and the most exemplary work ethic, Kodak wrote in an email shared with Bloomberg News. Fran also has done an extraordinary job enhancing the strong governance and compliance programs we have throughout the company. Jim Brewer, the senior vice president of ethics and compliance, and Lucy Altman, the senior vice president of corporate governance, will fill Townsend's role. Brewer has been with the company for over a decade. The Wall Street Journal reported the move earlier Friday. Townsend previously held position as a counterterrorism advisor to President George Bush. Wow. Uh, White House and as a general counselor for McAndrews and Forbes. Shortly after taking the job at Activision, Townsend said she would focus on customer safety and the security of their personally identifying information. Uh, she also said she would look into loot boxes and mechanic for obtaining in-game cosmetics. That is something likened to gambling. And then uh, they go on to talk about how Kodak took responsibility for the incident. And basically that Activision has been going through hell uh, over the last few years. All that happened just in the last few hours. So I, I feel like we're at a point where, Potentially, we see something big happen in November. Uh, I think we might hear more over the next week about things shuffling around at Activision Blizzard as they need to prepare quite quickly for a potential thing happening in November. If not, uh, so like, let's say they do a four-month investigation after November, December, January, February, March, uh, March 2023. So likely, I believe that's still, I believe that's, Q1 by March. So by Q1 2023, Activision Blizzard could have been purchased by Microsoft, or we could be hearing more about some sort of delay in the deal or whatever is going to come of it will come of it uh, at the latest in March, at the earliest in November. Still, it's a really interesting story that we've talked about a lot on this channel. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when my content goes live. I greatly appreciate you watching. If you want to become a member, memberships are turned on. Thank you to all of these lovely members here. I appreciate all of you. If you want to become one, you click that join button right there on the bottom of the screen. There it is. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you soon. Bye for now, everybody.